YouTube, what is going on? Listen, we got a cool cut today. Uh, it's actually nothing crazy, but it is something different. I usually don't do parts or designs in my hair, and I usually don't have my hair colored. But we're learning new tricks of the trade and we're practicing on ourselves. So you check it out, follow these steps, and you guys are gonna make out beautiful. Hopefully you learn something. Also, I am nominated for a Barber Grammy at the CT Barber Expo this year, 2022. Um, first things first, Get your tickets online. Uh, you don't want to miss the best barber event of the year. So again, this is my first time ever being nominated for something like this. And it's for giving back, all right? It's for being um, pretty much a hometown hero, they call it. So if you help out with the community in any sort of way, um, you can get nominated. So I, I'm in there. I do have a, a nomination in, I have some votes. And uh, there's two rounds. And you know, I want people to vote for me only only if they actually think I, I helped out. So I do know the barbering community as a whole um, throughout the years have been helping out since 2011. It's been 11 years strong, Ricardo the Barber. I started my channel in 06. If you guys stuck with me that long, you would know it's been a ride. We've been here for a long time. Anyways, back to it. Let's get to this haircut. Check it out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the part like so. All right, so I'm done with that, as you can see. And the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the ball guy line going all the way around my head. I'm gonna grab my clipper. I'm gonna open it up to the highest setting and make a one inch band around my head. All right, so now we got a one inch band all around the head. Hopefully you guys can see all that, all right? I'm gonna put the one guard, keep the clipper in the same position, all right? And put the one guard. Make another one inch band. All right, here we go with the four guard, all right? Again, I'm coming up. Just kind of coming up and against the grain of the group. Grain of the hair wants to go down like this on an angle. Hopefully you guys see that. I know you can kind of get an idea. I'll zoom in for you later. Um, so I'm gonna go up against it, right? And it's not gonna cut much. But I'm just driving it right out. That's it, all right? What this is telling me, since I don't hear much hair coming out, is that it's lower than a four in that area. I'm gonna put that four down. Now we don't worry about a four, we worry about a three. Put a three guard on there, same spot, close, okay? You should start hearing hair come off soon. It might be a three, it might be a two. We're gonna find out. So I like going high with my fades. So here's a three, oh, close. Here we go, we're at a three. You can hear it chopping away. Putting on a two now, a two guard. Close, same thing, all right? Now I have my one and a half guard, okay? We're gonna go ahead and go, um, I'm gonna start closed, but if it's taking too much above it, I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna blend down to get this line, that second line that I put in, which is right here, taken away, okay? That whole line around, we're trying to take it away. Your half guard, right there. One half, which is one sixteenth. It's half of a one. That's what you're putting on. You're gonna go from open to close. And we're gonna blend this whole area down. This line should pretty much disappear. All right, that's what we're focused on, is getting this line out and gone, all right? Start with it open, the highest setting, the longest it's gonna cut. And start blending right over that line.
gonna close it two clicks. All right, this is where it starts getting to be the fading portion, the real big fading portion of your haircut. If I'm closing it two clicks, if you don't have a click lever that has five different stops, you're gonna go ahead and put your clipper halfway. All right, open it up halfway. And you're gonna come somewhere in between, all right, in between where you faded and the line here. We're gonna save room for you to cut lower, all right? So we're not cutting too low to this line. We're gonna go above it by about a half an inch. We're trying to fade that line out. So as you can see, it's starting to come together. I know you see it very slowly but surely. Go another click close or about a quarter of the way open. All right, on your, on your clipper. If you don't have the clip, come about a little bit closer to that line but still go above it. We're doing just under a half inch. This is without glasses on, so I can't see a damn thing. All right, now we're gonna take a clipper and close it fully. So this is my last click. You're gonna close it all the way. This is gonna cut to the shortest setting with the 116 pounder. Now you're gonna stay where that line is. You're gonna try to bring it up within a quarter inch. So you're gonna flick out. Do a flicking motion with your wrist and you can flick that little line out, all right? See how I'm doing it here? Not hard. Got to get used to it. it. Just takes time. And you're never really perfect when you're setting in guidelines. You got to understand when you're setting in guidelines and when you're uh, erasing them for the first time, nothing is going to be perfect until you go over it. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. So now we're taking all the guards off of the clippers. We're going to have your bare clippers just like this. Two clicks or halfway. And now we're gonna start blending out this last line. This line is what we're worried about here. This line is what we're taking out at the moment. You're gonna to wanna to get yourself a brush. Get yourself a baby brush. This way you can clean up the areas that you faded and make sure all the hair that might be sitting on your head is gone, okay? We don't want that around. We wanna be able to see what we're doing here. You will not be able to see if you have hair in the way. So again, two clicks. And now we're gonna start going. We're gonna be about, so this was my original second line, my first line. We're gonna kinda go three quarters up from where this line is, three quarters of the way, and start blending that down, okay? Follow along. Don't go up too high. Don't be worried about making small, you know, extra lines. It happens. If worse comes to worse and you do make more lines, we could always open the clipper up more and blend that out. But right now, we're gonna stick to the guidelines. Boom. One more close, which is about a quarter open if you don't have a click lever, okay? So go, see look, there's hair on my face right there. It's kinda hard to see, but if I brush it away, I can see better. Now you're gonna go, in between what you were just fading and that bottom line, all right? You should hear the hair coming off. Fold my ear. I can see what I'm doing a little better. And this blend is actually coming out very good. I'm shocked. My shocked voice. All right. Now, clip the clothes all the way. Doesn't matter if you have the click lever or not. Close is closed. Shortest setting that I can cut. You see them teeth? Super close together, all right? So just gonna get that line out, no problem. Stay within where that line is. Don't go more than a quarter inch above it to flick it out. I can barely even see it because these clippers are so good and they cut so short. Caliber clippers, if you don't have them, go get them. Do yourself a favor. These things fade like a son of a gun. So now, I like what I'm seeing. All right, now I have the other side. It's complete, all right, I faded it. I like the way it looks. Now I'm gonna do this area.
All right, so I have one of these little applicator brushes. Come on, focus. Right here. That's what I'm gonna use to put this dye on. Just gonna touch the top lightly. I got a, I got a brush, a baby brush that I use uh, on myself usually just to kind of blend it in. Focus on touching, you know, actually hitting the area and spreading it out. And I like this look. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with a razor real quick. Now here, I'm gonna carry it all the way through like I wanted it. It's gonna be easier to see mainly because I, um, let me see. So I'm using this razor and it should be a little sharper. All right, now at this point, I like to style my hair. One of my favorite products. But you'll see, once you get it all, get everywhere you need, you just kind of go ahead and push it in. I like to style the front upwards, kind of have a nice little relaxed back area so it kind of ramps up. It's really just a light touch up to it, I don't want anything crazy. If anything just inspires you to be a little bit better than you were yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got something from it, all right? Maybe it, uh, Maybe it inspire you a little bit to do something different. I don't know. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Hopefully you liked it, all right? And if you learned something new, even better. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Share too. Peace.